All right, this is from Top Notch Books. What does Top Notch Books have for us? And you, uh, I'll start opening this one just to save some time here. Books has sent us ah yeah, yeah. something hard to open. I hate it. I hate it. Ah. I hate it when they do this. Jason goes to hell. The adaptation from Tops Comics. Hmm. The Final Friday. That, that's awesome. Again, it'll be be great for when I eventually do the uh, Friday the Thirteenth comic month. This one is a letter. Why don't you read this one? Because we got a lot of stuff in here. Louis and Vega, I wasn't sure if I would send you two something of any worth, especially after my last package wound up being part of the Lost episode. Sorry. No, Yeah, you apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But in the end, I found some stuff I think you both will find pretty cool. Either for a simple collection's sake or potential game streaming material, or even just for the fun of it. No big descriptions like last time, so have fun finding out what's included. And the only thing no explain is the Titan IE picture signed by... Wait, what? There's a Titan IE picture signed by Don Bluth. Yeah! Check this out! Oh my god! Take a look, take a look. I'm sorry. I'm so happy. I'm crying. You're gonna put this on the wall of autographs. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm crying because I'm such a fan of Don Blue. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm okay. Don't laugh you. at me. I'm not laughing. You're laughing at I'm me. I'm not laughing. You're laughing at me. I'm not laughing. I'm smiling. I'm happy for you. <laughs> You're laughing at I'm me. happy for you. <laughs> I'm such a big fan of Don Blue. I'm happy for us. We got a lot of stuff in here. I'm and I I'm one of those rare people who actually really liked Titan A.E. growing up. So yeah. Oh my God. There is a crap ton of cool stuff in here. I, I don't even know where to begin with this. Uh, can we? I mean, I know you want to keep looking at that, but no, can we no. uh, finish off the letter? No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish off the letter. Is this like? I had supported the Dragon Slayer this... movie Kickstarter to the point of getting a signed print, which I eventually got. About a month later, though, I wound up getting a second signed print of the same exact picture for no discernible reason. It happens. Since I have no need for two Booth uh, Bluth uh, Goldman signed prints, I figured I'd donate to you people who ha appreciate animation. If neither of you are fans of Titan A.E., then too bad because you already have it. I am a fan of Titan A.E. I'm not going to read this next bit here because it spoils what's in the box, so I'll show that off in a second. Uh, should make for good streams or even a top fourth wall episode, though. I'd imagine that Lewis's chronic case of adamantium rage has subsided by now. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Lewis and Vega. Uh, um, P.S. to Vega, may New Jersey haunt your dreams forevermore. I got lost there just trying to get some pads once. Cue more. It taste that laugh. TPS to Lewis. Uh, don't read out loud unless you get what I'm trying to do. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I don't get it. You got me all happy with the dumb blue Gary Oldman thing and then Rick... Rick what, the, what the fuck? <laughs> We just rickrolled all of my audience here. <sighs> anyway, why don't we show off some of the stuff we got here, because we got a lot in here. Uh, Iron Man Extreme! And Spider-Woman. And Spider-Woman! Okay. I've heard of this, too, because, because you know, Jason David Frank. Dragon, Dragon Warrior. Warrior! Starring Jason David Frank, and I'm not, I don't know classic. much about this. This is an old uh, review show, Classic Game Room. Huh. I'll check that out. Principality of Xeon Pen. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, Xeon? Nice. Hail. Nice. Hail Zeon. Oh, that was Sig Zeon. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm doing the dub, which, you know, I like the uh, Cartoon Network had this awesome promo they would show at the beginning of episodes like a theme song. Mm -hmm. And in that version, they used the dub, which was Hail, Hail Zeon. Also, Steel on VHS. We don't, wait, no, we do have a VCR. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I actually do like the theme song to Steel. Bum, bum, da, da. On the subject of Don Bluth, Dragon Slayer for Nintendo DS. Oh, nice. Hellboy Asylum Seeker for PlayStation. Spawn the Eternal for PlayStation. 
Uh, on the DVD front for an old anime, uh, is this anime or is this oh. like a? Whoop! It says Funimation, so it must be. Dom Domagar D. Dome Aragato. This. Oh, check this out! This is awesome for for our GameCube, which we still have have to set up at some point. Yep. Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time plus Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Ooh, cool! Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh man, I remember this. I sucked at playing this. <laughs> and PS3 Tomb Raider. Oh man, I haven't played any Tomb Raider since PS1. A tiny box. Why don't you open that up and see what's in there? Oh my God, they gave me an engagement ring. Sorry, marrying this person who gave me gave me that. That's fair. Isn't that a soul <laughs> no. gem? Wait, a soul gem? Not for Monica. Hmm. Well, I don't think this is a soul gem for Monica. I don't know what it is then. Hmm. It's just really nice. I Pro like it. It's probably a curse item that will bite us in the ass later. Also, a bunch, a bunch, I'm not going to go through all these just because of time, a bunch of Marvel trading cards. Cool. But that is not even the end of this. We still got more in here. A few more uh, game and a few other things. Uh, can't remember the name of what this is from. Oh, this is... I forgot what this is! I know what it is, but I forgot. Uh, I think it's a uh, 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 Mr. Something. I, I've seen him in Smash uh, Brothers. Oh, uh, oh, uh, mother. Yes, mother. from Mother. Earthbound. Japanese Pikachu and Eevee, as well as a s original version one and version two starter rules for the Pokemon card game. That's kind of cool. Cool. Just for a sound trip. Parappa the Rapper on PSP. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't have a PSP. I have a PSP. It's in you that never, drawer over there. You never gave it to me. Well, I, I on the subject of game consoles, I've never given you I, uh, an Atari. Holy shit! An Atari Flashback Four. I think I don't remember how this is supposed to work. Yeah, it's basically like uh, all the games are inside. Remember oh, when neat. those those plug and play air, like games were like flooding shells? Yeah, cool. I'd be a little, I'd be willing to give this thing a shot. Cool. I don't know if, if our TV even gets uh, uh, is it composite cables. Yes, we do have a thing for that. Okay, good. But thank you. This is a huge collection of really oh. damn... Do we have uh, controllers? Guess not. <laughs> you know you know what? Those ports are compatible with Sega Genesis controllers. Oh, sweet. We'll be fine. Oh, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that were hidden in there, too. Uh, Time Seal, Japanese Giant Trinade, and Skill Successor. We are rich in geekery. Yes, we are. Uh, thank you so much for this new bounty of items. Yes, the microphone is turned on. I checked. You will get your credit that is deserved, sir. <laughs> but let's, thank you uh, so much. Let's go through some smaller stuff now for a bit. This one just says, Merry Christmas from Menards. 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 Save big money at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Yeah. It's from Toad Hall Books and Records. So probably an eBay purchase. Save big money at Menards. See, you almost had the theme song there, and yet you're not familiar with Menards. Look, look, I'm from the East Coast. We don't have Menards out. Menards! <laughs> it's in the song! Save big money at Home Depot? <laughs> Ace Hardware, sweetie. Ace Hardware. I love annoying him by saying th Minnesota things like wrong. Grr! Anyway, this is yeah, Friday the 13th. Da, 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 da. This Wild is a storm trade. This is a letter from Charles Wright. Dear Lewis, I enjoy watching your show and I hope you find a use for the cards I previously sent you. Oh. I am not in including any cards in this because I recently won a loot crate and decided to send it to you as a gift. Oh, I don't know if that arrived in this one. Uh, the way uh, sorry, handwriting. Uh, the way it is found out about uh, the way I found out about you, uh, your channel is from History of Power Rangers. When I was trying to, uh, uh, I'm so sorry, uh, trying to get uh, find episodes of the show, I decided to start watching your comic reviews, and I enjoyed them. Uh, questions: Who is your favorite pony? Uh, uh, Honey Britch's pony. No, it's not a real pony. And Rainbow Dash right now. Uh, why did you decide to start your show? I answered that earlier, so hopefully you saw Wait, that. What is your favorite Pink Ranger? No, who is your favorite Pink Ranger? Uh, oh, I, I totally missed that. Uh, who's my favorite Pink Ranger? Probably Jen from Time Force. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite... Type of soda? Of soda. Uh, Diet Sunkissed Lemonade. 
Uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Tell Vega to smack you. Vega, smack me. That was barely a smack. I don't want to hurt my baby. Who is your favorite character on your show? Uh, I don't know if he counts. I mean, I always like, I like doing all my characters. Uh, I don't know if he counts as being a character of my show, considering, you know, he's a separate show. Uh, I love doing Moarte. <laughs> um, character on your, my favorite character on your show? Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Jairus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Linkara, close second. <laughs> How old are you? I am 29 at the time of this recording. No comment. Sincerely, mm -hmm. Charles Wright the Third. P.S. Come to Illinois. We have corn. Just corn. Well, you have more than that. No, you know they just have corn. I lived in Chicago for like a few years. No, it's just corn. It's more than just corn in Illinois. Thank you, Charles. And yes, there is only corn. Speaking of Illinois, I'm opening a box from one of my dear friends from back home, back in Chicago. What? Sarah. Sarah, like one of my friends, I met through the con scene out there. How you doing? How's your life going? Can't wait to see you when I visit again. And she sent, she sent me these Wonder Bolts. I've been actually eyeing these in Target for a while now. I'll read this letter that she sent us as well. No, she needs to send a letter. Uh, it's also a bit of a long one, sorry. Uh, she gave us Gintama, like she's a huge fan of Gintama and she would tell me about it and like cosplay it. And I've nef I, like, I never really got into it, but I know it's been going on for so long that it was fresh when I was like 19 or something. That's how long it's been going. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, I, I'm so sorry, but this is like this is like uh, uh, two pages front and back. I cannot read this whole thing. This is too <laughs> little. Uh, I'll read of course, of course, read later. I uh, hope you're both having a wonderful holiday season. I've been meaning to write you for quite some time, but real life obligations have gotten in the way. Uh, hard, uh, uh, particularly. A new job. Uh, but now I figured the holiday seemed like a good idea for, for to send some stuff. I apologize for my somewhat sloppy handwriting and misspellings. It's okay. I just apologize that I can't, that, you know, sometimes Scooby I can't Scooby-Doo, all of it. Scooby-Doo. Yep. She sent us uh, some Scooby-Doo comics, meaning to donate these for quite some time. Those are from the Archie comics run from the mid-90s, just before the entire Hanna-Barbera. Uh, gotta love that was bought, uh, stuff that was bought up by DC. I was hunting for these comics years ago and had to buy two separate eBay lots to complete it, leaving uh, me with duplicates. Also, why some are missing from this set. I've never been a big fan of superheroes, but I've always been a big Scooby-Doo fan and collected the comics. And I am actually a big Scrappy-Doo fan. Boo! Dude was the only one who tried to fight the monsters. Look, look. No. Yeah! The best, the best Scooby-Doo... There's two really great Scooby-Doos. One, a pup named Scooby-Doo. And two, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Those are two best and only best Scooby-Doo's. Scrappy. Wait, wait. Actually wanted to fight the monster. What was the point of them finding the monster? Wait. Just gonna run away from it. Oh no, the thing we were looking for. Let's run. Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby-Doo is a is a clo is third, but that's only because Flim Flam was like kind of silly. The My Little Pony toy is of course for Vega. I'm yes. not sure if she has one already, but it contains my favorite pony, Fluttershy. I'm not a huge My Little Pony fan, but I always liked it. Uh, I liked. And kind of related to Fluttershy. You are totally a Fluttershy. It also has Vega's favorite pony, Pinkie Pie, so it seemed fitting. Finally, I also include you the first volume of my all-time favorite anime and manga series, Gintama. Not looking to have it reviewed, though feel free to for conventions or something if you're running low on manga ideas. But it's my go-to series when life gets me down. I feel we have, uh, we need the wisdom and humor of Sakata Gintoki. Gintori? Gintoki. Gintoki, Gintori, I can't, I'm sorry, it looks like a K as well as an R. Now more than ever, and we're, you're probably correct in that regard. Yeah, I'm sure you're looking forward to the new one next year. If nothing else, I hope you get a laugh or two from the story uh, where aliens invade Ito, Japan. Ito, Japan. Yep, that's, the, uh, that's how it begins. Best wishes on your impending nuptials. I always have a blast hanging out with you both at conventions. Vig, I hope to see you at ASEN once again next year. Oh, Lewis, yeah. I'll see you at Anime Midwest, and I will, of course, see you there. Yep. Uh, I also happen to be in my birthday con. Oh, neat. We need to battle Pokemon and race in Mario Kart again. Yes. Yes. Uh, sad to know artwork this time, although there's you know, artwork on the back here. Uh, lots of love. Sarah Dafhime. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I always never know how to pronounce your last name. Froelich? Froelich? Holy so crap. Sorry. I don't even know. I don't even know. Crap. Uh, you're asking at the bottom here if I play Overwatch. I am busy. I have not tried it yet. I would like to try it. I did a little bit of test just to uh, 
just because, you know, I, as we set it up on, on uh, Vega's computer, she's still getting used to it because she's not used <sighs> to playing things on a keyboard. I suck at Overwatch. Yeah, we need to get you a controller. Cause... You know, no, if this was Splatoon, it'd be easy. By the way, if you ever see Kara playing on Splatoon, it's actually me just playing under his account. I'm the one who's kicking your ass. And if you want to be Wii U buddies and Splatoon, like, you know, this, this holiday season... Tweet me. I'm totally up for it. I never played with friends and team battle. But I, I'm always online, mostly doing Rainmaker because I love that. Well, I feel especially bad. PPS, I know Fat Grandma read my name in the credits of the movie commentary. I just want to say thank you for pronouncing my last name right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, how it was pronounced. PPS, okay, fine. Get time for one quick sketch with Poyo and me. So thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Oh, I have such wonderful friends and fans. Yep. And a wonderful fiance. Aw. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to come up to Minnesota sometime. Then we'll show you all around. This box I already opened, but I don't know what's inside because, of course, uh, Christmas presents were sent to the PO unboxing as well, so I needed to open them to make sure what was in, uh, you know, uh, uh, something was sent. This box is a little beat up, too. I'm glad it's not the Christmas presents in that regard. Uh, there is a letter there. It's for Lewis. I better not read it because it's for Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. Huh. Oh. You're making a lot of noises. Interesting things inside of here. All right. Hi, Louis Vega. You may remember me from the P.O. unboxing that will haunt you forevermore. Ah. I was the guy who gave you the Gokai gun, the treasure chest of Ranger Keys, and the Young Justice DVDs. Thank you so much for all that. That stuff was incredible. He was geeking out about it for hours. Mm. Uh, Vanessa suggested, I'm sure others would totally chip in more if the paid... To the Patreon, if the vlogs of YJ episodes... Young Just episode became a stretch goal. You know, it's not a bad idea. Hmm. The thing, I'm not usually doing those type of videos because I'm not really into uh, uh, content like that. I prefer the scripted stuff. But you know what? If it gets people to pay me more money, why not? <laughs> but enough about the past. Now for the present. We have a motion comic. Spider Woman, Agent of Sword. Which I think we got with that uh, with that other uh, DVD as a second feature. Damn. Hmm. Here are some Dirty Pair comics from Eclipse Comics. I was just watching some Dirty Pair, like, earlier when I was, like, uh, editing. It's all on YouTube by Nozomi Entertainment, so check out Dirty Pair. A lot of Dirty Pair stuff. I, I, I think, actually, we do have some other Dirty Pair comics. I don't think we have these ones, though. We have some Dirty Pair comics, but not all of those. Like, the ones on yeah. top, I know we definitely don't have. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. The rest are screen cap comics made from the first OVA. Mm -hmm. Oh, for Vega, I have a son. Ah, uh, let her. I'll let her tell you. Ah, Sunset Shimmer. See, my favorite pony is Honey Britches Stop. Pony. The first off, this because, is an equestria girl. Because Honey this Britches... This is an equestria girl. And, and, this and is her, an equestria her, girl. Her equestria girl's because... persona is known as Britches Honey. No, that's not how it works. They still got the same name, even though they're equestria girls. So she's Honey Britches? Even as a human. No, no, it's well, it's because her... it's 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 part of her native country where, no, where the surname... that's not how it works. And the first name You're are, it. are reversed. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. Honey Britches Pony. No! I want fan art. No! Only if they do Soda Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some other stuff in here too if you want to keep reading that off. Next, in honor of your Aquaman Save the Origins Mouth episode, I present you Batman Brave and Bold Season 1 on Blue. Oh, shit, yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. This was a great show. You guys should watch this. I was addicted to it. And that last episode... Ugh. See, with something like that, I definitely have to use do in vlog form because I do not have the ability to rip Blu-rays, unfortunately. This version is my favorite incarnation of Aquaman. It does. It is the best Aquaman. <laughs> and last, my Christmas present to you, Doctor Who action figures. Uh... Since Sylvester McCoy, McCoy is your favorite doctor, I took a wild guess as to who your favorite companion is. Uh, my favorite companion, uh, you know, you know it's, it's, my favorite companion overall is Charlie from the audio dramas, but my favorite live action television companion is indeed Ace. So, yay! And I have the, and I actually have a uh, an old Daypole Dalek signed by Sophie Aldred, so I can actually pose this with the Dalek, you know, with the baseball bat. Nice. Ah. Also, there's a Leela action figure. And a Leela action figure. 
Figured I'd give you the two most badass companions. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hell yeah, we love Leela. By Adam Kingsley. Leela and 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 her lovely stabbing of things. Yes. <laughs> oh, you wanna you're gonna yeah. look at this? Alright, uh fortunately we are actually starting to run down and stuff. Do you have yep. anything on your side? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna give you this from Brent Augustine. Oh dear, Brent this, Augustine. And the last one is very special. Yeah. Brent Augustine sounds like it would be a great comic book villain name. I keep Think make about sure. it. Spider-Man's next villain is Brent Augustine. This is the Christmas episode. I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello. There, there is a letter, and I will read that in a moment. Yeah. All right. What the heck? <laughs> Hello, Louis and Vega. Brent here once again. And honestly, I was not expecting such a response to my trolling. <laughs> Had this package made it for that unboxing, it would have contained an apology. And I also have to thank the eBay seller for adding the troll picture to my message. That was a stroke of genius. No trolling this time, though. So on to our feature presentation. First is a copy of the album Beaker by the 22 Brides. But as in the... Yep, Mommy? 22 Brides. They kind of sound like Veruca Salt. Maybe 90s kid will like it. <laughs> Yo, they were a band in the comic. Huh. I didn't even know that. Well, I don't remember it. Huh. Next yeah. is actually from a friend of mine, a short Star Trek TNG story he wrote for a contest called Tomorrow's Enterprise. He ended up getting to the finals with it twice, but it didn't end up winning. From what I heard, that was probably a good thing. It mm -hmm. takes place shortly after the series finale and involves the Enterprise D finding a strong spatial disturbance and running into an adrift Enterprise K. Hmm. You know, that's the thing I always loved about uh, Star Trek TNG. Uh, they wanted to do time travel stories that were not really time travel stories. So, in this case, yesterday's Enterprise, instead of the crew traveling through time, we have a ship from the past coming in and screwing with history and everything as a result of that. Uh, a short... Uh, the Seeker... Uh, hopefully you find the time to enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Seeker 3000 is a one-shot story penned in 1978 by one of your favorites, Doug Mensch about the eponymous Ark ship as it readies to escape the solar system one day before the sun explodes. It was reprinted as Seeker 3000 premiere ahead of a new miniseries that picks up 25 years later. Starting to lose my voice, so glad we're almost done here. <clears throat> up next, X-Mutants. From Malibu, but before the Ultraverse, it's set in a post-apocalyptic Earth where a robot named Professor Kildare rescues a group of enslaved mutants to reclaim the world and reverts them to normal humans to do so. <clears throat> There's a lot more here, so I'm just going to skip through this. I'm very sorry. I'll just uh, a copy of the first issue of the Pro Action Magazine, Marvel attempts to combine the NFL and comics. Last comic is a magazine-sized one. Careful, the cover's no longer attached. The second issue of WWF Battle Mania, which has two stories sandwiching their catalog. You've already covered the first, Warriors Workout, but the second is an entertaining Bushwhacker story. Hey, sweetie. Bushwhacked. What? You didn't watch that episode of Cinema Snob, did you? No. Bushwhack! Come on! Don't you have bushwhack fever? No. Hopefully this gets to you before Christmas, but if not, enjoy it belatedly as our final item is just a present. So I'll say no more of it other than I hope you like what's inside or don't already have. Yeah, I would have wrapped it like a real present, but I don't have all the time. It's Pikachu! <laughs> so that's all for me, at least maybe until you reopen the P.O. box. Although I do have to keep reminding myself that just because it's a crappy comic, I don't have to send it to you. Gotta make sure it's good for the show crap. Hope you two have or have had a wonderful holiday season. Uh, P.S. I understand you need to close down the P.O. box I, soon, but when you open it up again, my thought is you might plan a two-day split session for unboxing because the first one might be a little, a little overstocked. That is true. We have not yet... I, I keep, you know, flip-flopping about whether to close the P.O. box. Fortunately, a lot of the stuff we've been getting so far has not been that bad, but we are pretty much full. I, we expected to get a lot more because of Christmas, so we'll oh, see yeah. how January goes. I got a Twilight Sparkle in a blind bag. Oh, neat. I am not ready to close the P.O. box just yet. We've it will depend about. on what how things look in January. If it, it seems like we are inundated with stuff in January, we will close it. But we will, of course, you know, give a month, you know, worth of time for people to send in their last stuff beforehand. But needless to say, we may have to do it. But we we'll see where things go from here. And that is a Giratina. Yes, it is. Origin uh. form Giratina. That's, that's cool. 
That's awesome. That's Pokemon Devil. So yeah, we're not ready to do that just yet, but we are. But we will see how January goes. It's and a pop figure of Squirrel Girl. Whoa, I is like Bobblehead Squirrel Girl. My, yes, it is. You know, I don't like Squirrel. I don't. I, I, I love Squirrel Girl. You love Squirrel Girl. I don't like pop figures, but I, damn it, that's not. But that's still cool. I love Squirrel Girl, and I've been rereading like her books lately. Hmm. Oh, and there's something more at the bottom of this. Oh, what do we got there? It's uh, like a... Is this a calendar? Looks like... Oh, 5th Anniversary TV Cards Special Collector's Edition. Yeah, he mentioned that in the letter. I think I skipped over that bit because, you know, we're trying to get through it as quickly as possible. It's 12 classic images yeah. from the hit television series. Suitable for framing. All right, so we got some more posters. We got more garbage bags, too, at the bottom. That's because we're a piece of trash. Yep. It's because we're nerd trash. Our waifu is trash. Oh, God, we could actually... You, you, these are useful for the house. Yay. Thank you. Thank this you. This is very practical. We need more trash. All right. And the final box for this special Christmas edition is actually from the Game Show Reviewer. Hey, Game Show Reviewer. Who does all the really nice, fancy special effects of Atop the Fourth Wall and did effects for the movie. Not all the effects for the movie, but all the, uh, you know, Angry Joe's lightning, the energy effects, and all the color correction of the Atop the Fourth Wall movie. He's a very talented guy. Yeah, that was the Game Show Reviewer. And he specifically asked me, because we have a weekly meeting to talk about effects that are coming up, including stuff, you know, that's going to be coming up in the storyline, because a lot of this takes time to prepare, so we wanted to keep approval process. Uh, he specifically asked to open this on the air and said, you know, this is our Christmas present. So we're going to do this. The, guy, the man already does so much, you know, wonderful stuff for me. I can't thank him enough. Watch his show. He wants to get back into doing his review series. Uh, but it's been tough for him because, you know, he has a full-time job and you now he's doing stuff for me, too. And uh, game show and the game show reviews itself is very time-consuming. Yep. Yeah. Because he actually, like, does CG recreations of game show sets. Mm. So, yeah, check out his show. It's pretty cool. Yeah, one thing he did say he was going to send me, which is this Star Trek The Complete Comic Collection on oh. DVD. Tools. Alright. Uh, Linkara and Vega, whoever opens this first. <laughs> Why don't you uh, do that while I open this up? Yeah. Yeah. Hope this letter finds you both in good health. Recording a PO unboxing complete with a hot microphone. Sorry I couldn't resist. I would have well, I would have handwritten this letter out, but my handwriting is about as bad as my spelling, which you know is pretty bad. So I think typing's probably better. Thought I'd give like, thought I'd send you and Vika a Christmas present or two since the season of giving at this time of being of this being sent. Enclosed, you should find the following. A DVD containing all the Star Trek comics yep. from 67 to 2002. For Vika, a couple of state flags. Oh, I think those are in here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Ooh, what state is this? Oh, one is Texas due to being a home state, and one is South Carolina where I used to reside for a while. Ah. Oh. Yay, thank you. Ha <laughs> All right, what else? Uh, I may be self-indulgent for a moment, but I sent some props for my own game show reviewer series. Yeah, which is these pins and patches. No, let me see. Ah. Two mission patches and a badge. I'll say only the Tempest program patch I sent has been screen used. The other two haven't. Oh, neat. Haven't yet. Ha <laughs> ha. And finally, well, I'll let the item in a large white box speak for itself. Needs to say, I think you'll like it. it. Says not porn, I swear. Oh man, it's porn. It's probably porn. Yeah. Or it's something to make a porn with. <laughs> Tools. Oh. Oh my god. Because every starship needs a dedication plaque. Here's one for Comicron One. He actually put a dedication plaque on the CG model of uh, Comicron 1. Because he, cause, uh, he also did see, despite the fact that we took very extensive photos of uh, Comicron 1 for use for green screen background, he used his exceptional CG skills to create a CG Comicron 1 bridge, which is pretty much identical, but he has the ability to control the lighting more efficiently. So we added a, a dedication plaque in the background. It's like, holy crap. United States administration, president, 
of Barack Obama. Vice well, yeah, because dedication plaques in uh, uh, in Starfleet have lists of important, uh, the, you know, the Federation City president Minnesota and stuff like at that. The time. City of Minneapolis, Channel Awesome, Dodger Critic, Spoonie. Angry Joe, Spoonie, Plank Owner, Command Crew. Liaison to the U.S. government. Liaison U.S. government. Agent Alan Park. Host of Isles of Anime. What am I doing on this thing? <laughs> Aw, thank you. Well, Iron Liz is listed as second officer, so it's all good. Hmm? Command time pilot of Tempest One. Dedication plaque designer. <laughs> Former starship owner, Lord Vice. <laughs> we treat her with respect. We take care of her. She'll always bring us home. Captain Linkara, CO of Comicron One. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. This is amazing. There is also, uh, uh, for people who want to make their own dedication plaques, it turns out that there is actually a service, Plaque Maker, which uh, was included in this thing. So, uh, yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Game Show thank Reviewer. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all of you out there, have a happy holidays. Have a Merry Christmas. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I was brought to tears. But I'm, I'm, I'm so happy, and thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for all of this. <laughs> Have yourself a very Merry Christmas. We can't sing the song or else it'll get taken down for content ID. Can we sing Thankful Heart? No, actually, that yeah, that, that actually got me content ID, too. What can we sing? Happy birthday! Da -da 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 -da. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Da -da 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 -da. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! To you. It's you celebrate your birthday, it happens every year. Woo! You eat a lot of broccoli and drink a lot of beer. Woo! You should be good and happy because there's so much you can eat. Woo! A million people everywhere are starving in the streets. Woo! Your mom is in the gutter with a can of... I can't remember the rest of the lyrics after that. But I know the real song that we should be singing at a time like this, though. What? Da 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 This has been P.O. Unboxing! I hate you! Okay. Wow. Yeah.